Hey everybody, it's Jordan Green. So today we're going to be talking about vinyl cut decal or sign application. So we are going to start with our vinyl cut decal. Um, first things first, whenever you are going to apply your vinyl cut decal or sign, you have to make sure that the surface you're applying it to is clean and dry. So that means clean of anything like dust, oils, chemicals, anything like that. Um, and then you have to make sure that when you're applying a vinyl cut decal or sign that the temperature is between 40 and 90. Um, if you're trying to apply it and it's freezing outside to your car window, it's just not going to work quite as well um, unless you're between that 40 and 90 range. So once you have the surface clean, you are ready to start applying. So the next thing you're going to want to do is get the decal ready for application. Um, you're going to have to take off this liner. Now keep in mind, uh, this is going to be a, our black material that we have our vinyl cuts. We have multiple different colors. Uh, keep in mind where you're going to be applying these decals. Um, a black vinyl cut decal is probably not going to look the best on a car window just because they are tinted. And so when you have black on a black window, it's going to be very hard to see. So something like a white vinyl cut decal or a blue or something like that might look a little bit better. Um, so just keep that in mind whenever you're ordering your vinyl cut uh, decals or signs. Just remember where you're going to be putting it. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take off this liner and just make sure that none of the decal itself pulls up with the liner. This is just kind of your waxy paper backing. Set that aside and then you're going to line up your decal to where you want it to be placed. So it's not going to be the end of the world if it's not perfect. You can always peel it back up and readjust it if you need to right off the bat. So you just kind of lightly put it down and then you can start squeegeeing it. Now what I mean by squeegee, uh, we have these, we sell squeegees um, that we can give out to uh, your customers or for you, whoever is applying the decals. Some people use credit cards, some people just use their hands, which I usually just use my hands and just put a lot of pressure on them. Uh, but this is something they do recommend just to make sure you're getting all of the bubbles out. So your next step is going to be actually pressing down the decal from the middle to the outside. So we're going to push out all of the bubbles and really make sure that this vinyl cut decal is applied and stuck strong. You can hear the pressure. Always start from the middle because if you start from the outside you can always get bubbles and then it'll mess up the middle of your decal as you're trying to push it out. So always start from the middle and push outward. And after that, all you have to do is wait for about 15 minutes. Uh, make sure the adhesive really bonds to what surface it is that you're applying it to. Uh, and then we'll come back for the next step. All right, so once the adhesive is bonded, after you waited about 15 minutes, you can start removing the pre-mask, which is this white kind of sticky material that's left on top. Um, make sure that when you are squeegeeing it down the first time that you do not remove the pre-mask. Um, just because when you're squeegeeing it down it will rip or uh, tear your vinyl cut and you just really don't want that to happen. So because of all the pressure you're supposed to put on this, always leave the pre-mask on for, uh, first and then take it off later. So what we're going to do is start from a corner and we're going to peel the pre-mask off at a 45 degree angle. And what you're going to want to do is keep the pre-mask as close to the decal as possible when you're peeling it away. If you're holding it up like this, trying to peel it away, it's going to pull up the decal. So pull it close to the surface and at a 45 degree angle. Go pretty slow. If the vinyl cut does pull up while you are pulling the pre-mask off, you can always go back and push it down or put the pre-mask back over it maybe put a little bit more squeegeeing on it and let it sit a little bit longer. Uh, it just means the adhesive hasn't bonded to it as well. So let's get this pulled off here. Looks like it is bonding pretty well. Yay, 
there we've got it. Hollywood. So once the pre-mask has been removed, um, really all that's left to do is maybe kind of lightly squeegee back over the material. Uh, just to make sure you've got all the corners pressed down, make sure there's not any bubbles left. Um, this is a very light squeegeeing. Um, I would almost recommend just kind of using your fingers. Make sure everything is pressed down um, just because the squeegee or a credit card, whatever they use, could tear the material. So it probably is best just to recommend using your hands, pressing down the corners or bubbles. Uh, but there really shouldn't be too much of that. It's just kind of to make sure that it really is stuck on there strong. So that is how you apply a vinyl cut decal or sign. Um, remember to go check out our website. Uh, we've got promotions and sales going on right now. Um, and always remember, feel free to call Brenda or I with any questions you have. Uh, we're always here to help you brainstorm and we can help you out with your next vinyl cut decal or sign order. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.